As a public defender, Judge Karen fought for her client's rights. She was elected to the bench because she believes in doing the right thing. I'm very passionate about helping people, period. Y'all two grown people need to get your house. Right. You had seven years to have told him that. When we fight, who's gonna win? You are. I don't ask the questions, I ask them. Yes, ma'am. Raise your right hand. Objective, independent justice. I'm ready to rule. If you keep walking, you can overcome whatever circumstances you're facing. This is Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Wedding planner Ama Hoyt is suing Victoria Bloom in the amount of $1,000. Ms. White claims Ms. Bloom demanded she transport a heavy basin to her daughter's wedding and says she broke her foot as a result. All right, Ms. White, you're suing Ms. Bloom for $1,000 for personal injury, is that right? Yes. Okay, and what's your relationship to the defendant? She is the mother of my client. I am a wedding planner okay. and I planned her daughter's wedding. Okay, who hired you? Her daughter hired me. Okay, so you became a wedding planner? I did, yes. All right, and so her daughter, what's your daughter's name? Brittany. Brittany contacted you and said, I'm getting married, can you help me with the wedding? Yes, she did. Okay, mm -hmm. who was paying for that, Mama? I was paying for the wedding, okay. and I had actually spoken to a few people, and I was planning on figuring out who the best person was going to be. Right. And then well, it was your daughter's wedding. Yes, right? it was my daughter's wedding. But, you, but she wasn't paying for the wedding plan. Correct. You didn't have a problem with uh, the plaintiff then? Not at first. Okay, well, we're here in court, so something must have happened. So tell me what happened. So, uh, as I said, I was the wedding planner for her daughter, and her mother came with us to every decision that we made, okay. to the cake and the linens and the colors and right. the flowers, everything. Her mother was there right. making the decisions. Brittany and I would make one decision, and right. her mother would come in and make a different decision, okay. and her decision always overruled. And okay. so well, I... Well, Brittany's not here suing her mama, you are. Okay. Yes. So, so mama's paying the money. I think mama's got to say, if absolutely. you want everything that you want, then you pay for it. Yes. But it's, you were paying for it, so you had to say. Yes, Your Honor, I was paying for it, and I can't imagine someone who is in the wedding planning business to not understand that a mom is going to have certain opinions and want what they want also. Oh, of course. And there would be a discussion. Right. Not a, a oh, I can't involved. do that. It's been my experience. The mama's always involved. Absolutely. But so, but what happened here? So I was always constantly jumping through hoops for her. Last minute requests and so of course the morning of the wedding okay. she emails me and tells me that there is a water basin it is a family heirloom and it's very important that it get to this wedding ceremony what water basin are we talking about it's something that was in my family for a few hundred years well, on the well, what property is it? it's it was a it was a place where children used to play and it was my grandpa called it a water basin right. she's calling it a big clunky I don't know what she's right. calling but what did you, it. What do you want to do with this thing? I wanted it to be there because it was there when I got married. You mean it, it was a part of the ceremony? It was a part, it was, it was there, yes, as a part of the ceremony. Had y'all ever talked about this before the morning of the wedding? No, we had not. I had never heard any mention. It was a farmhouse theme right. and the morning and it was in a, where was the wedding taking place? The wedding was at a church. Okay. Yeah, and the water basin was not at the church. The water basin was at her mother's estate, which was 45 minutes away from the right. church. You wanted the water basin brought to the church? Yes, Your Honor, okay. I did, and Brittany told me. But why me, did you wait till the morning of the wedding? Brittany told me that they Where's Brittany? Is Brittany she here is today? my daughter. She is not. We can't talk about okay, her. Okay, don't tell me what Brittany told you. Okay. So why did you wait till the last minute? The, I day, the morning of the wedding? Yes. I assumed that that was taken care of, and when no one discussed it, okay. then I went, oh, let's make sure that somebody gets the water and basin you over her? there. her? I sent her an email How at much does 7 this water in the morning. basin weigh? Probably about 300 pounds. It's not a basin. It mm -hmm. is a porcelain bathtub. Let and me see it. Does anybody yes, have a picture? Yes, I do. I see. have a piece of evidence here. This is the, you can see that it's clearly a bathtub and this thing is Well, porcelain. it's a bathtub. It is a bathtub. It's it a bathtub. 300 you call it a water pounds. basin. It's my, a bathtub. That's what my, it's a, that's it's what a my father. It's a bathtub. Yes, it is. And she did not mention. Wait, wait. At, where was this going to go once it got I to the church? I have a picture. No, once it got to the church, where yes. was it going? Yes, and I've got a picture of where 
there. We put it, and it was up in front Let so that see. everybody could Let me see, see it. What she's got. Was it at your wedding? Yes, it was Did at my wedding. Did you bring me a picture of it from your own wedding? I could not locate any pictures, and it was at my mother's wedding, and it was at her mother's wedding because it was on the property. Okay, it's back here in the back with this little circle. You didn't yes. even notice this thing back here. And, and, and how long had it been in the family? It's been in the family for hundreds of years. No, no. Mm -mm. These are 1920s. I got two houses, 1920s. 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 Well, yeah. no hundreds of years. Then Tens, my decades, maybe, but no, it's no hundreds of years. Okay, well, this my. This weighs more than 300 pounds. I, well, this I, weighs I, more. I had one move recently. Oh, this weighs a lot. What did more you do with yours? Well, I don't answer questions. Mm -hmm. I ask questions. Okay. <laughs> All right. Coming up on Supreme Justice. Excuse me, Your Honor, but that's something that you need to learn is that if you want to be in this business, you have got to have a contract. So was there a contract? I did, did not you sign, sign anything? Contract. No, 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 okay. no. I did not. And later. It's always sad for me when relatives, close relatives, are suing each other. I read the beginning of your pleadings that you were very close, like brothers, right? And look where you are now. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Ama White, who is suing Victoria Bloom for $1,000. Okay, well, you didn't have somebody that worked on your estate that could put this on the back of a pickup truck out there and um, bring it to the church? Actually, not at that time. No one's living in there now because right. my mother passed away okay. and we're in the process of selling the estate. Okay, so you get an email. Let me see the email. Yes, absolutely. I have the email right here. So she sends me this email and she lets me know that it's a water basin and I have the means to tub. pick it up. Right. The email says basin, so I'm thinking I can pick this up on my own. I have the means, I have a dolly. I get there, it is a massive bathtub. Somehow I figure out how to get it on the dolly, and as I'm rolling it to my car. You got that on a dolly? I, you know, when you're put under pressure like that, there's this strength. Your I Honor, can't explain it. it. Clearly, it, I, I managed to get it on the dolly, and as I'm rolling it, it chips over on its side and absolutely crushes my foot. And I, I now have a broken foot, a wedding ceremony that is two hours away. I'm 45 minutes away from the ceremony. I have no way of getting this Is there a up. contract? Is um, there a wedding planner contract you signed? Excuse me, Your Honor, but that's something that you need to learn is that if you want to be in this business, you have got to have a contract. So was there a contract? I'm not, I did, did not you sign, sign a contract. Anything? No, 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 okay. no, I did not. You go out there, you get there, you could have said, I'm not doing this. It's not part of wedding planner duties. You need a man to do this. Yes. And Your Honor, in the email I said you need your team to help you lift it and put it into your well, truck. Well, who's the team? I do have a, a team. I have two assistants, but right. they, there was one assistant who was at the ceremony you know church. What, there Let was... me just tell you, I can protect a lot of things, but I cannot protect you if you don't have common sense because common sense isn't that common. Once you saw that top, mm -hmm. you should have said, anybody with reasonable common sense would have said, this ain't happening today. I it's knew just how... not happening. It's not part of wedding planner duties. Mm -hmm. It's not something we ever even discuss. I'm incapable, as small as you are, of trying to move this thing. <sighs> I didn't want to disappoint her because right. I knew how she had been this whole planning process. She had made my life an absolute nightmare. There's no nightmare. contract here. There's no agreement, nothing in writing that you had to do this. It almost looks like a favor. And you could have just said no. I, I mean, the fact that you took this on was ludicrous. I would have just said, no, it's not going to happen. So what's this thousand dollars? So my medical bills, I had to go to the ER, I right. had to get an x-ray, right. and they had to split And you got foot. this thing to the, the wedding? So I, my boyfriend came, picked me up, took me to the ER, and got the bathtub to the wedding in time for the ceremony right. so that... So what happened at the wedding? Who was there? The rest of your team? My team was and there, and there. they took Why over for me. Why do you don't offer to pay this girl's medical expenses? Because... Because she did something for you. She brought 
brought it on herself. So it was not technically my fault that she tried to pick this up herself when I you requested asked her a to team. Do, listen, I cannot legislate or, or, or rule ethically, okay, about ethics. But you asked somebody to go pick up something that you thought was hundreds of years old, just a few years old, that <laughs> weighed 500 pounds, even with two or three people, you probably need five people to lift this tub, and she gets it to you at your request, Mama? Yes, And yes. she gets hurt doing it, trying to please you. Yes. It just seems to me the right thing to do is to say, let me pay your medical expenses. She's saying that I'm responsible and that it was my you fault. You can say it's, I'm not responsible. It's not my fault. But because you did something that was really outside of what, you, what any wedding planner would do, and you were hurt doing it, trying to please me, let me pay your medical expenses. I understand. You got understand. all these diamonds I, dripping for you and everything. What's $1,000? Exactly. I understand. I understand. I understand. I just don't like being blamed for being the mother from... Let's say we don't blame you. Can you say I'm not blaming you anymore? Let's see if she changes her tune. Did you don't blame her? Can you say I don't blame you? I don't blame you, but I would still appreciate if you paid you know my what, medical though? expenses. You know what? This is why you ain't going to get nothing in life. You know? You had to say one thing and say it and mean it. Because I can't legally ch make her pay you. Okay. I'm trying to see out of the kindness of her heart... She wants to see, she seems like she's got some breeding. People with good breeding, somebody with good breeding would offer to pay your medical expenses just out of what's the decent thing to do. I just don't like being blamed. So is this a no, you're not going to pay your medical expenses? Can you say that? It's not my fault what happened and that it was your judgment and that as a businesswoman, you need now to you have better you really judgment. Taking this too far. Pardon me? First, you just wanted to, I, it's just not my fault. That, it's just not my fault. I agree. It's not my Can fault. Can you just say it's just not your fault? It's just not your fault. You got your checkbook? I do. Okay. All right. So we're going to step outside. You're going to write her a check. Case is dismissed. Good luck to you both. All right. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's case has been dismissed. I didn't think she had a leg to stand on. Well, I guess she realized that she did actually need to do the right thing, but I will never be working for her family ever again. Coming up. Do you want a relationship with your cousin? Or you don't miss him or what? Tell me, I don't know, I don't know y'all. You're pleading, say you were like brothers. You don't act like brothers, not to me. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Ronnie Temple is suing his cousin, Sean Temple, in the amount of $875. Mr. Temple claims he lived and worked with the defendant and says his cousin withheld his pay because he got behind on the rent. So, Mr. Temple, you're suing your cousin, Mr. Temple, for $875 because you say it's money he owes you for having worked on his hot cocoa truck. What, what were you doing before you started working with him? Before I was working with him, I was doing rides here. I was just giving people rides and right. getting paid. Right. How long did you do that? I did that for about a year. Okay. So, you know, it's always sad for me when relatives, close relatives, are suing each other. I read the beginning of your pleadings that you were very close, like brothers. Yes, ma'am. Right? And look where you are now. How did we get here? We got here by him just not paying. What, what was the agreement? So the agreement, I was supposed to get $175. Why did you start working with him anyway? You said you were doing ride share. Why did you start working with him? It seemed as if I could make more money. Okay. So I took the offer. Okay, so he offered you a job. Well, I asked him. Can I work for you? Yeah, can I work for you? Right. And, and then he, he said and yes. And he agreed. You agreed? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and so the agreement was $175 every time you worked? Yes. And how long would you work when you would work with him? We would do about eight hours. Eight hours. Eight hours, okay. So well, what went wrong with this? Everything was fine the first seven events. First seven events, I got paid okay. right after. Wow, seven events. And you, you worked those eight hours and he paid you $175. No problem. No problem. Then what happened? On the eighth event, he told me things didn't go as they normally go. Right. I'll pay you another time. So, but you still were going to pay him, right? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Coming up. He just started to refuse to pay me. Right. He even told me squatters don't deserve to get paid. Well, were you a squatter? You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Ronnie Temple, who is suing his cousin, Sean Temple, for unpaid wages. So then what happened? So then it seems as if I did more events and he just started to refuse to pay me. Right. He even told me squatters don't deserve to get paid. Well, were you a squatter? No, I was a hard worker. So why did you tell him that? Did you tell him that? After that particular event, he had issues with his girlfriend at his home, uh -huh. was kicked out of his home. Well, and how did you miss that part? How did you miss telling me that part? You had a fight with your girlfriend and she told you to get out? That is true. And then you what? Asked him if he, you could stay with him? Yes. How long did you stay with him? It's about two months. Two months. Did he pay you any money? No, he did not, but we agreed that he would pay 300 per month, but I was not paid. Did you tell him you were going to give him $300 per month? Yes. Why do you keep missing information to give me? So you were supposed to pay three. So you, there's six hundred dollars you owe him, right? Yes. Okay. And you think he owes you eight hundred and seventy-five? That's correct. Okay. So what are you subtracting the six hundred? Subtracting the six hundred and, if possible, the extra two hundred for his car battery. He bought your car battery. How much did it cost? Two hundred seventy-five dollars. What are we doing here? What What are we doing? He owes the money. Yeah, but did you, <laughs> this is why your girlfriend probably put you out. I don't believe you always paid her on time either. So what was the agreement then about the battery? I wouldn't say there was more of an agreement. It was more that I wanted him to get back on his feet and right. to start ride sharing right. again. So, so that he you couldn't. never told him he had to pay you back for the battery then? No. Okay. It was well something then, I did. Uh, so then you agree that you still owe him 275 in unpaid wages. Judge Karen's verdict when Supreme Justice returns. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. What's going to happen to the relationship? To be honest, Your Honor, I, I have no clue. Do it, you want a relationship with your cousin? Or you don't miss him or what? Tell me. I don't know. I don't know y'all. You're pleading. Say you were like brothers. You don't act like brothers. Not to me. I definitely would like a stronger relationship with Ronnie. But doing something like this when it comes to family, like bringing... Right. Legal matters. Right, bringing a lawsuit is kind of just a, a bridge es too far. Especially when I tried doing all I could to help him with, you right. know what I'm saying? And Helping you know his what? car. And the next time that girlfriend puts you out with it, now you don't even have anywhere to go. That's what they call burning bridges. You are burning bridges. It's unfortunate that now you're getting $275. How's that feel? I didn't want it to come to this, but I think when people, oh, they should pay. You owed him $300 a month and you didn't pay? But he thinks, his principle is this, that when people owe, they should pay. That doesn't make any sense, because you didn't pay. That's why your girlfriend put you out. I'm ready to roll then. <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $275. Good luck to you both. All rise. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $275. I've always loved Sean as a family member, but I felt as if this was the only option. My actions may be harsh, but I always had his best interests at heart. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.